Hi, my name is Philip Kent, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bitly Link Shortener to shorten your links and track your click throughs. That's coming up right after the intro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bitly to shorten links and to gather analytics data about click throughs uh, for your social media and your websites. So what this what this does is basically allows you to, it originally started as something for you to shorten your links so that for instance on Twitter where you only have 140 characters to work with you know you could you could share a long URL and it kind of morphed into um, sort of an, a, a, a quasi analytics tool. I mean there's definitely a, a nice set of analytics on here and uh, when you pair this with other services that I'll do and other other programs and, and another other uh, uh, other software there's there's a lot more options that you can have and a lot more value than you can extract out of it but this video is just gonna be basically um, how to use bitly uh, in general so first of all what you need is you need a website so we'll go ahead I'm just gonna use my uh, my home page so we're gonna copy and paste that and then we're gonna bring it over here and guys you need to sign up for a you need to sign up for an account it's completely free just go ahead and do it it's super simple super quick I'm not gonna go through that in this video so you you uh, you get the URL which was my my home page and then you bring it up here right next to this uh, this nice little blowfish and you copy and paste it in and as you can see um, it comes up with a URL now normally this uh, this URL or this, uh, excuse me, this the 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 text string after bit.ly is a jar, just a garbled mess of numbers and letters. Um, as you can see, I've already put this in as bitmark test. I've already used this URL um, as bitmark test. Um, and and to to edit it, you simply just click on this, and you can you can type it in. So we'll just do bit test. Let's do bit test two, and uh, to 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 make this go through to to save this, you need to hit enter. And uh, once you hit enter, it's saved. And I, I definitely uh, I highly recommend that you go ahead and uh, add you know change modify that text string um, to to something a bit more. Um, to something a bit more relevant, um, depending on where you're going to put it and what you're going to put it on. Like, uh, for instance, oh, whoops, some of the uh, uh, some of the um, some of the situations that I've seen it used in is, for instance, like in the description of YouTube videos um, on Facebook and and stuff like that. And and it really, again, it really depends on what you're going to use it for. But some people, you have to take into consideration that some people don't even really know what a Bitly is and they really don't trust it. So. You know, <coughs> excuse me. You um, you might you might want to consider um, renaming it to just to kind of help increase the uh, the click throughs. Um, so so next we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a bit more about how to get statistics from this. So this each one of these is a bit mark, and uh, you can so we'll just I'll just walk you through from the home page. Once you signed in, once you're signed in, you just you go to your stuff and bit marks and you can check all of the bitmarks that you have created um, so we'll just go through kind of how to how to deal with the bitmarks so this is a bitmark I created for JMH Hacker uh, one of his um, one of his blog posts um, and it was just kind of a test because his stuff always gets click throughs so I, I just wanted to, to use that and uh, and uh, kind of uh, just to have a good example so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click view stats and there's a, a good bit of information uh, so you can see up here in the top how many times it's been clicked um, and then also you know the the bitly the bitly name right here which this one is not one that I I, I didn't rename this one uh, so again you don't have to rename it to increase click throughs but just in certain cases or or if it's for a particular thing like a you know like a promotion or a contest or or whatever and and not only that you can also use that um, for yourself and I'm actually gonna do in a video coming up I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys a tool that I use that's completely free um, and it it uh, it allows you to create these in mass and not only does it allow you to create bitlies in mass it's it you can either create bitlies or Google G O O dot G L uh, shortener 
shorten links as well in mass and you can link tag them for Google Analytics uh, all at the same time which is pretty pretty interesting but you know if you don't know what that is don't worry about it not a huge deal um, let's go ahead and get back to the analytics on here so you can tell what days the clicks were on so as you can see this one was only on November 7th I believe I posted this to Facebook so it, it makes sense that it the click throughs were only on one day just because that's you know that's the only basically because you know Facebook is just gonna it's gonna it's gonna filter your post out relatively quickly um, so and you can also see um, where it was shared so I shared it on Facebook originally um, I also shared it I, I shared it using Hootsuite which again if you don't know what that is that's just kind of like a social media tool I'm gonna be doing a video on that as well um, but so I shared it to my Facebook my Twitter my LinkedIn um, my Google Plus page and uh, and, and I believe my WordPress so you know those clicks could have come from other places in fact let's see if it'll tell us no no it doesn't so or does it nope no it does not tell us okay well so it'll tell you Facebook and I'm sure there's other referrers that it will tell you uh, you can also you've also got a nice little map of uh, where um, where it is coming from so five of my click throughs are from the US ones from the UK that's pretty cool I didn't I didn't really you know I, when I posted it I didn't think it was gonna get get outside of the country but I, you know I guess it's Facebook so there's a ton of people on there um, and again um, you know you can see you can see which bitly user shared the bitly link so that's me uh, six clicks We'll click on that real fast Okay, so and and another cool thing as well is uh, up here you can actually get a QR code created for the Bitly, which is pretty interesting as well. Um, so you know I I see QR codes all over the place now. Like I was just I was just at a I guess like a not really a mall but it's kind of like a downtown mall you know and and they were all over the place for all these businesses. So um, they're obviously getting more popular. Um, and and they're a great way, you know, to, to allow people to easily link to stuff uh, through through their phone as well. So I would definitely, you know, that's it's a nice little nice little thing that they do by generating that for you. Um, and then also you can share, you can share via email, uh, and you can also share by assorted social media stuff as well, right from here. So 